What's going on YouTube? Hope you guys are having a marvelous day. In today's video, I'll be showing you a scrim against Envy. I dropped the 50 bomb. Yes, a 50 bomb. And my 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 end mate is just so good, man. It's like a laser. I'm just snapping everywhere, which you guys are about to see. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And during this video, I'm just gonna be talking a little bit over it, explaining maybe certain things, maybe giving a little bit tips. You know, it's interacting with you guys. So let's watch it together. Let's have some fun. Alright, let's do this. So I'm going to show you guys the first part that I'm about to skip like two minutes because those two minutes is pretty boring. Nothing really special happens. And as you can see in the screen, there's a lot of green after that and that's where it gets really good. So off the break, I'm always pushing white truck, helping Doug out the hill. See somebody, I'm trying to push shots with Doug. Doug picks up the second guy, push shots, who I made it really weak. Right here is three down. I know they're going to be in front of me, barn or white truck because that's the spawn. I just pre-aim, you know, give him some assistance on Doug. He's on hill. I kill one, jump up, pick up the two-piece with the headshot. And I'm just staying alive here. Top barn, unfortunately, doesn't even kill me. I get shot from the side breaks, but Dito's doing a great job to kill behind me. I know guys sell top barn, pre-aim that, get pick up that kill. So right here, I'm just doing a great job, you know, staying alive, helping Doug. That's kind of my role in this game. Like in hardpoint, like at all, a lot of the times, I'll make the support player. Like I'm either helping Ken and spawns, which Ken is Dito, or I'm helping Sensor and Hill. And like I'm always like that support role player. And then sometimes I'm that I I also start picking up a lot of kills, and I'm that Slayer. I'm like a mix. I'm like a support Slayer in this game. That's kind of that's my job. So right here, you guys see I'm rotating around spawns, and now I'm gonna skip this part because it, it's not it's not really important. It's not fun. It just I get a kill every like 10 seconds, and just just to skip it. Let's get to the good part. Alright, so I skipped about three minutes in. Now, this is where it gets really interesting, gets really fun. So here, I got a good spawn. You know, we got split spawns. I push in the hill. I know I'm about to get a kill or two. Shoot this guy in the side. Get TP. Those guys in the middle pull out my pistol to challenge him. I couldn't find him. Unfortunately, I got shot on the side. It's all good. Now we're spawning here. But I think Ace, it's a, uh, Slasher. Slasher's trying to spawn trap us. I killed him. I pick up two piece. Almost kill Cap. I believe that's Cap. So I rush him with the pistol. No, he's still there. Get the three piece. Right here, I'm just staying alive, but I challenge because I'm close to streaks, and I get the four piece pretty much to clean up the hill. Now, I'm 175 points away from streaks. Streaks can be really big right now. I believe I die here. Yes, I die. Like, uh, like I got to learn how to play for my streaks a little bit better. So right here, I have my overdrive. I know they're all spawning front, and with overdrive, I can hit a quick-ass flank. So that's exactly what I do. So I'm right behind this guy. I pick up Slasher. I react high to, to I aches. I react fast to aches. Pick up that two piece, and I was gonna try to get him boring because I know there's gonna be one or two there. I was gonna try to shoot him in the back. So right here, I pretty much, I guess in a way, got my team spawns, good spawns, because somebody spawned with me. We get air strikes. Slash was doing good at the start. He was like getting, I guess he got streaks. Here I try to challenge a dunk to gunfight. You know, I. I die, whatever. I try to hit him with a drop shot. Right now, I'm currently 16-16. So you're going to see that I'm going to pick it up a lot. Uh, we're like five minutes in the game. I pick up a two-piece. Almost got that three-piece. That would have been sick. I was like strafing it. Almost, almost, almost. So right here, I'm pushing 10. You know, we got to rotate. There's 10 seconds left. They're obviously going to be spawning born. My team are doing a good job, but just holding. Doug's holding the alley. Someone's holding hardware. I'm helping Doug here. Now, this was stupid. Insanely stupid. Doug even said, like, don't challenge that guy. It's pointless. And... I wasn't I wasn't a pretty good spot to challenge. You know, I was like in a head glitch sort of and I like I was preeminent, but I shouldn't have challenged in the first place. Cause now look where what where we're at. We had full control, now we have no control. And a huge reason was because I died, because then someone pinched from 10 and this all fell apart. But right here we do a good job. I dub picks up a two piece, I get assist. Now the scythe is always so important to kill the scythe. Right now we're like double teaming the scythe. Luckily I pick him up here. Those guys to my left, and there's a guy 10 and Jcat just pulls a two-piece out of his ass. And, you know, he pulls a three-piece, I guess. Luckily, Saints kills him. Right here, we can literally give up. I see a guy 10. I saw a guy middle. Picked up the guy middle. Looked at my red dot. Turned around. I killed TP. That made it so good, man. No spawn 10. I, I yell at Dito. Dito's in that right, that dot right there. The the one behind me. I yell. I'm like, there's 10, there's 10. I need help. And right here, I was just trapped, man. They used a health storm on me. I knew I was going to make that alive. Now, I spawned out, but I have overdrive, and I use it. I fucking use it to push up quick as possible. I know they're all here. Look at this. Pick up kill. Pick up two-piece. And I break spawns. No, okay, my team is still spawned out, but I'm back here, which is so crucial. Right here, I'm just getting kills. Picking up another two-piece. No, I'm, I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. I pick up another two-piece. I'm doing such a great job of staying alive. One spawns in front of me. Doesn't react. Aches. <laughs> get a guy 10. I literally am. I just got like a six-piece. I got two, two, two. And we just get control of the hill. This hill is so important holding spawns. Like holding this back right train or back here is so important. Because look, 
I held it, I, and I just killed everybody, and my team was able to get in the hill. Now, there's obviously times where, you know, you gotta flood the hill, but then most of the time, like, you really wanna, you really wanna hold that. Like, that's priority. Then hill, and then the cuts or whatever. It's not like, like, certain hills, you could just do hill, there, but no, because the thing about this hill, if, if you don't have that back spawn right there, you spawn all the way out. So, like, spawns in this hill is so crucial. So, right here, I'm close to streaks. And I played them. Like, I'm taking my sweet time. The time right now, you know, I'm trying to sneak behind them because they can't see hill capture. I get two of them. I think I rush in. Do I get my service? I think I raked this. I raked eggs for my service. So, I, I pick up a nice two-piece. I played that so slow and so smart. Now, yes, I could have just rushed like a maniac, but we're, we're currently down by 15, but I have full streaks. And full streaks are so important. You know, like, they can help you break a hill, and the server is so big. So, I pick up the kill in the back. I dash in there. I get annihilated. So... Right now, I'm currently 31 and 23. You know, I'm having a really good game. Everyone's like 18, 20 kills. And I'm just doing my job, picking up kills with the ME. I freaking love this gun. I'm really good with this gun. My teammates spawn Grandma, so I obviously know they can be born. I dash on the Slasher. I try to pick up two piece, but TB has a sub. And it's just, if he catches me off guard with the sub, I'm usually going to die. Right here, I'm calling the Hellstorm for the rotation of the next hill. Pick up a two piece. I always communicate with my team when I'm about to use my streaks. Activate my Cerberus in there. Watching the tin flank because people usually spawn that that hardware and they just flank tin. I turn around because that's train or they can spawn back grandmas as well. Pick up that kill. You really need to have that spawn knowledge to do really good. If you don't have that spawn, my servers killed Doug. I don't know why I killed Doug, and they ended up EMPing it. I don't know why I killed Doug, but I just did. But all right, so I'm overdriving behind them, you know, flanking like I usually do. But like I was saying, man, you really need to know spawns. Oh my. I pick up a three piece. No biggie. I popped like three three pieces in this game. But having spawn knowledge is so important because not only like not only you get kills, but like you get you hold down a certain spot all because of your knowledge. Like if you understand the game really well and you understand how to play, you're gonna hold it down. So right here, I was gonna call my lightning strike, but I decided not to. Now I'm calling it to break this next hill. Now this hill is really important. You do want to spawn on the barn side, like where my team is. This is the spawn you want. This is the better spawn. This is the more important spawn, especially because you can get in this head glitch right here and just dominate. Now we just get rushed. We all fall down, but I believe we, we break it right now. I think it's it's gonna be like on and off, but I'm pretty sure we break it. I think Doug picks up a two. No, he doesn't. No, I get shot on the side. Ugh, I hate when that happens. Timing, call timing. So right here, I see a guy jump middle. Pick up that kill. My teammates go big. Nano picks up a two-piece. Ken, uh, Ken picks up a kill. Right here, I pinch 10. 30 seconds left. Now, they're probably watching this. Which cap is. I have him weak. I believe I just... I, I aches. Pistol aches. And I challenged cap. He was really weak. I actually have long barrel on this pistol right now. If you didn't know. It's for, like, increased damage, longer range. So, I mean, I don't know what I substitute for. I think I just don't have, like, a, a tactical or something like that. But yeah, oh, as I was saying, pitching on that hill is pretty important. Not many teams do it because you want to get this spawn. So let's say it's 30 to 20 seconds left. If you could pinch it, you know, you'll get your team spawns. And if that's so big, but at the same time, it's hard to do. And you, you there's a possibility you're sacrificing your team losing the other hill. But at the same time, it's it all comes down to knowledge and when to do it. You just got to make sure you know how to do it. So I TP, kill the TP with the... With the purifier, that was pretty big. I know I have overdrive. We need to hit that back left. So I use it. Go for spawns real quick. Even though I fucked up my movement real bad. I hit TP in the back. I go. I immediately go back left. Because, you know, somebody has to hold that. I pick up a nice two-piece. I rush hill. My whole team's rushing hill. I'm one shot. I'm just bait and switching with Doug. Doug picks up a two-piece. At this point, man, we know... We know we got this, you know, I I did an absolutely great job this whole game with, with spawns, slaying, all that stuff, and that's GG. I was going for the 51, didn't manage to get 51, I had the second most hill time, Doug always doing a great job holding hill, you know, that's his job, he knows that's his job, he always stays in hills, pretty much almost no matter what. I dropped 50 kills, second most hill time, and my team, we just dominated. Like, obviously, I slayed a lot, but my team played good. You know, they, they came up clutch when they had to, and that's all that matters. We did this as a team. You know, our team's looking good. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, me commentating over it, explaining some things, you know, giving you guys some tips uh, to help you become a better player. And, yeah, so, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay as well. This has been your boy, Apathy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You know how we do out here. I'm out. Peace.